Hello Aries, welcome to your You and Them Love Reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection at this time and how you feel about each other, the energies between you. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. This is for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, let's jump in for Aries. Spirit changes messages please guidance for Aries regarding their connection at this time spare what messages do you have for Aries so what's going on in their connection at this time connection between Aries and their person religious factors okay your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so i think this is more like possibly divine timing or spiritual energies kind of influencing what happens in this connection but wedding is here the situation involves marriage pay attention to the red flags at the bottom of the deck hmm so I'm getting, one of the messages I'm getting is that you are destined to marry this person. But I think also some of you, there's a marriage that's preventing this union from happening. So we'll see what we, what else we get here. What else for Aries? What's going on? What do we need to know, Spirit? What's going on in this connection between Aries and their person? Time out. Time is of the essence. Hmm. Moving forward. Movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Yeah, it's almost like divine timing is a factor here. Or something about, you know, like happening at the right time. Not the right time right now. Yeah, patiently waiting just came out. This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. True love at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, what I'm getting here is almost like timing has not been right. Someone's waiting for this to happen. There's probably a cycle that needs to end, though, because this is you're moving forward into a new chapter, and that only happens when an old chapter has closed. And this is a very special union with true love here at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice. It like comes and goes randomly. And I was just on the phone for like an hour and my voice did not go anywhere. So it just happened as soon as I started this reading. Okay, so then let's jump right in to figure out what really is happening here for Aries. I see death here. Okay. Endings, changes. What do we need to know for Aries? What's going on between Aries and this person? What's going on in this connection for Aries? That's reverse. What's going on for Aries? And the person they are thinking about connecting with at this time surge. Okay, so let's see what we get for you, Aries going on in your connection we have strength reverse the fool and ten of wands leo energy with the strength card the fool new beginnings ten of wands burdens obstacles and this person's on a journey in this deck um moving they have their bags are packed and they're moving and we have moving forward so someone could be physically moving or needing to make a physical move here we'll see what that's all about Okay, on your side, I'm putting these energies down, and then on their side, these energies over here. And we'll look at those when, we, when it's time to look at them. Okay, one more. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. Interesting. So an offer of some sort, a small offer, but the, the world is reversed right after that. So there's definitely something here with a cycle that hasn't closed or a situation that has not been able to move forward. This could be on your side, on your person's side, regardless of whose side it's on, it's affecting the future of this connection or the timing of things happening. And timing is very important. 
Can I get some insight, please? Yeah, look at that. Three of Wands just looked. What's going on, Spirit? Can we get some clarity, please? Now, Aries, um, you can flip these energies if they resonate more for you. You can also check out your moon, your rising sign as well for additional messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box. So you can check out your moon, your rising, or any other placement. All right, so let's clarify these energies. Well, well let's start with strength reverse. When, as soon as I put down strength reverse, I thought someone's not strong enough. But I wonder if that's really the case. Why is strength reverse, spirit? Why is strength reverse here for Aries? Ten of Pentacles. Why is strength reverse? Why is strength reverse? Ten of Cups. Wow. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is some someone's hope, aspirations here. What they wish they had. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. New love, more fulfilling love, more emotional abundance, happy endings, stability. But strength is reverse. And strength typically when it's upright it's a card about using a different approach to control a situation uh, it's about using a different method rather than force you're using a different method and that takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of inner strength that's the that's the meaning of the strength card so when it's reversed it could mean that someone is not using the best approach maybe they don't have the strength or the courage to really get a hold of a situation. I think someone's courage or lack of courage has cost them this. They don't have this. Instead, they have the Ten of Wands. Instead of the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, it's the Ten of Wands. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Oh my God, the Five of Pentacles wanted to show up, but it didn't really come out. So tell me about the Ten of Wands, Spare. What's this Ten of Wands about? Page of Wands. Why is the page of, no, not the page of wands. Let me focus. The ten of wands. Why is the ten of wands here? Can you tell me about the ten of wands? Three of cups. Yeah, there's something else here. Yeah, three of swords. And the seven of pentacles. Yeah. The devil at the bottom of the deck. Need I say more? Capricorn energy. Someone is overwhelmed, burdened by, I feel, a, another situation. Uh, it could be another partnership. It could be a family situation. It could be uh, influences, friends, um, co-workers. There's something in the way here that someone is dealing with. Ten of Wands, the devil, something that's restrictive. And it just leads them to kind of think with like the Seven of Pentacles. What else is, what's going to happen? How is this going to end up? Is there a future for me? What kind of future will I have? Seven of Pentacles. Because this is, you know, make no mistake, Page of Wands is here. This is someone that's hoping for adventure, something different. Will, you know, they're, they're hoping that they would be, I mean, the Page of Wands takes risks. The Page of Wands is somebody that they don't care about the, about the details too much or fear at all. <laughs> they tend to kind of just go in with both feet, jump in with both feet, um, and kind of just enjoy it for the adventure that it is. What's this page of wands about? Why is the page of wands here? I think it's this fool. It's like someone that's wondering how, you know, about a different future for themselves, an adventure that they could go on, something different for them. Tell me about the page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? Yeah, two of cups, knight of cups. This is someone thinking about another person. So if this is you, Aries, and you're in a situation that's overwhelming, or burdensome, you're thinking about another person or you're thinking about love. And it could be them if it's flipped. Tell me about the fool. What's this fool about? Why is the fool here? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Very stable energy here. Someone very successful, yeah. Four of Wands. Someone's thinking about a different future. This is, I feel, someone's like goals. This is what they wish they could have. This is where they want to take this connection. 
Yeah, two of wands, I mean, two of pentacles and seven of swords, sorry. I was thinking about this four of wands. Two of pentacles, seven of swords. I feel like this is someone that goes back and forth about and, and possibly doesn't have the courage because they would have to do a seven of swords here. They would have to be a seven of swords to really get what they want. Now, if this is a third party situation where there's someone else involved, then I feel like they would have to do something to this person that would maybe be seen as unethical or wrong. Sneaky. I think this is someone that would need to choose something definitively. So how do I say this? There is only, um, they would have to make a choice that's completely the opposite of where they're at right now. Yeah, in order to get the Ace of Cups, but they're the, they're the hangman. So they've been thinking about this. This is someone that's been thinking about this while being stuck. Um, this is someone that's hoping for a different future, a different outcome, wants to be somewhere different, wants to do something different. But I don't think they're actually like doing something about it. You know, we'll see if that's the case when we jump down to your energies down here. I'm actually going to take these back up. We'll see if they come out again. Um, let's get some energies down for you and this person. Divine timing. I just, I just cut open the deck here. True love, divine timing. Hmm. Can we get some insight, please? For Aries and their person. So tell me about Aries. Tell me about Aries. What is their energy in this connection? Tell me about Aries. Judgment call decision. Knowledge, logic. A judgment call is being made using logic and reason. Tell me about Aries. Cold shoulder. An unhealthy attachment at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Aries. I think some of you, I'm getting a few messages. The first message I got instantly was that some of you know there's someone else. That you understand why there is distance between you and this person. You understand why you're not together. It's not a mystery to you. In your mind, this person just needs to choose. They would need to make this judgment call. Others of you, I feel like the judgment call is you. You have a decision to make. I think some of you are debating whether you should still wait because maybe you haven't heard from this person. Maybe this unhealthy attachment is something that they haven't been able to like overcome or whatever. Difficult decisions behind that. So I think a lot of you, the judgment call is you deciding whether to wait or move on. Tell me about Aries person. Okay. Tell me about Aries person. What do we need to know about them? That's like the four sources. Breathe in card. No action. Wow. The tower. What else do we need to know about this person? Yep, deep regret. So this person, um, and there's unhealthy attachment again at the bottom of the deck. There is an unhealthy attachment in the way. Something that keeps someone stuck. And this person has to regrets about it. There's regrets over past actions. And you had a reading recently, a bonus reading, Aries. Check it out. It'll be in your playlist. That someone had regret over the past and missed you. And I could see that this is similar energy. So let's see what's on your side here. King of Cups reverse, the star reverse, and the six of cups reverse. Yeah, the past has sort of a hold on you emotionally. Um, I think some of you, you lose hope because you, nothing happens, or you're losing hope because nothing happens. Aquarius energy with the star. You, you don't understand maybe why you're in a situation that feels so hopeless, right? But the past is very um, strong. The feelings you have towards the past very strong feelings. Let's look at your person. Yeah, they have the Three of Wands. So they're waiting for something. King of Swords reverse, Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. 
So they're not um, able to really bring something into balance. More time, more patience is needed. However, I feel like some of you are tapped out on that. I just don't see you waiting much longer, Aries. Patience is not in you. <laughs> it's not a virtue for Aries, right? I'm an Aries moon, so pray for me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, as an Aries moon, emotions are very like... I have very strong emotions and also very quick reactions and um, I'm a Virgo rising so once I have those reactions I in instantly regret it you know but patience patience is not one of my virtues I'm not a very patient person um, I'm all about the having it and having it now <laughs> so I feel like for Aries it's just very difficult for you to be this patiently waiting energy you know but emotions are strong. So I get the sense that even though you don't want to wait, you can't help it, right? Like even if you were to move on right now into another connection, in the back of your mind, you'd still be tied to this situation or this person emotionally. So let's see, why is the star reverse? Why is the star reverse? Queen of Cups, yeah. I feel like you have a lot of emotions here. I just picked that up, this energy of you caring a lot. Six of Swords, Ace of Cups. So I feel like a lot of you, you're just wondering if this person's ever going to leave the situation they're in. Or if you're ever going to leave the situation you're in. Because there is an unhealthy attachment here in the midst of both of you. You know, one of you at least is dealing with the unhealthy attachment. And so I feel like you're thinking, you know, is there even hope for this happening? You're this nine of wands, you know, there's there's a lot of pain and difficulty tied to this, but you can't quite give up. Tell me about the six of cups reverse. Tell me about the six of cups reverse. Some of you might be angry. Ten of Wands, yeah. The past is kind of its own burden. There's something that happened in the past here. Maybe the past is something that you just carried with you. Um, I think the fact that something hasn't happened, maybe you haven't gotten closure, and so it's hard to let go. Yeah, the Moon, Pisces energy. You can't let go because of what you don't know. I'm going to say that again. You can't let go of this because you don't know it all. There's something you don't know. There's a lack of clarity. Some of you didn't get closure. I think that's the problem here. You and this person have not had closure. And so you can't help but be drawn back to each other. There's something that is still kind of like unclear. And so I feel like you are going to be carrying this with you until you get that clarity. If this is resonating, feel free to leave me a comment. Yeah, Four of Swords, Six of Pentacles. I feel like you want answers or you need a, some sort of answer that maybe you didn't get. Or you need to see some sort of action. I don't know, something like that. Tell me about the King of Cups reverse. Why is the King of Cups reversed? Could be dealing with the water sign. The Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. Well, this is wanting to make something happen. This is working on something, putting an effort into something, manifesting. Some of you can be actively manifesting to get this answer. King of Cups reversed. King of Cups reverse is... Typically someone that their judgment could be blocked. Your judgment could be blocked about this situation because emotionally there has not been closure. You might not know how to feel about this. Maybe you are hot and cold about this. One day you're just like, I don't care, I'm moving on. <laughs> and then other days, maybe it's just not so simple. It's not so black and white. What do you want with this? What? Why is the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles here? Five of Cups. 
two of pentacles, okay? Uh, you want answers about the past. I feel like you're confused by how you feel. It's like you don't understand why you feel the way that you feel right now. You go back and forth because again, what's real? I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> you know, was that real? Was what we had real? If it was not real, why did it mean so much? If it was meant to end so quickly, why did it, why am I still holding on? Something like that is kind of the energy I'm picking up on. I feel like some of you, you just want to know if this is for you or not. Okay, let's see. Tell me about this person. Why is the King of Swords reversed? That's the one that really worries me the most. Why is the King of Swords reversed? Seven of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Tower. Yeah, this person would need to be a villain. For them to, this tower that is tied to this choice... They would need to be a villain. What's this? King of Cups and Page of Pentacles. Yeah. And it, it kind of sucks because it's like for them to be, you know, make this offer that they definitely want to make that's very heartfelt and genuine, they would need to be a villain. They would need to be seen as the Seven of Swords, deceptive, cruel maybe to someone. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands here? Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Why is the Three of Wands here? I think there's somebody else. Eight of Swords, yeah. There's somebody else here. A family, perhaps. Children? They're stuck, yeah. They're stuck even though they want to leave. They wish they could leave is what I'm getting here. They wish they could leave, but that would mean that they would have to be this cold person. But that's the only way. The only way would be to walk away. Tell me about temperance reverse. Why is temperance reverse? Why is temperance reverse? <laughs> King of Swords, yeah. This is what's taking so long. They need to work up the nerve to be this, this villain. They would probably even need to work up the nerve. There's the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is all about timing, too. Um, I feel like this person would need to be a King of Swords when they're a King of Cups. I think also they would need to communicate openly and honestly. I think this is the only way for them to heal or to get their wish. But that means that they would need to be a King of Swords, Queen of Swords to someone else. And I have to say... Queen of Swords, King of Swords. They're not the funnest people to deal with. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune is here, which tells me that this is this is the only way to move forward. This is this is an opportunity that will come around once, maybe twice. And if this person is not ready to be a King of Swords, Queen of Swords, they might lose out on what they want. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person? I'm taking a risk. I want a second chance. I have a choice to make at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, that's really it. They would need to make this choice, take a risk to get this tech second chance, period. You know, very simple energy. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. Hit that like button if you enjoy how I read and the readings that I do here. If you just want to support the channel for free, that's a great way to do it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.